we're talking about words that you can comprehend and understand so that we really you know penetrate into the thought of of god resurrection cannot be spoken of without death now in the beginning there was no need of resurrection because there was no death as a matter of fact which is a truth also god is life when we are, we are being introduced to the word of god in john chapter one he speaks of the word being life in him was life right he is life so there was no need of resurrection when there was no death that's why he says he is life he was life and he he is life but when death entered into the world a certain aspect of god was revealed which was hidden a mystery was which was hidden because the bible says death when sin entered the world death because of sin also entered the world god did not create death death is not a creation of god because in him is life there is no shadow in god there is no darkness in god it's not there he is light he is life he is light he is love when you stand in him there is no darkness at all there is no darkness at all there is no death at all in him so when death was introduced into the creation of god through the disobedience of man actually not just through the disobedience of man when lucifer sinned against god that is when death because death first gripped lucifer yeah so lucifer, uh, lucifer became a carrier of of death when he fell now that death was not in in as you say when god created the heavens and the earth lucifer was cast down the bible says he was cast down and he was between heaven and earth he was in a place he was in a certain void between heaven and earth and so god created the uh, or rather we would say he recreated the earth he planted a garden and then lucifer ventured into earth but still death was not in the creation of god in what god had done on earth because man was in charge he was delegated with the authority of god there was life only on earth right there was only life and so lucifer took on the form of a serpent which he was that serpent now would become the figure of death and he entered into the garden the moment man believed the serpent and rebelled against god at that moment death entered the world And so christ eh, in his revelation he has to be revealed yeah as not on because he is life we know him as life but we did not know him as resurrection because he did not need to die because there was no need of death but when death appeared in the creation of god then an aspect of god had to be revealed to overcome death now resurrection 
is the victory over death. Every time you speak re resurrection, you are also saying death is overcome. So when he says, I am resurrection, I am the resurrection, he's also saying, I am the victory over death. I am the victory over death. I am the triumph over death. That is why with boldness, with such certainty, he looks in Mary's eyes and he tells him, your brother shall rise again. Amen. Hallelujah. We cannot enter into the life of God without encountering his resurrection. That's why he is the resurrection and so, resurrection is the gate to life. You cannot say you have the life of God if you have not met the resurrection. Because we were death, we had death. We were darkness, the Bible says. We were darkness. So, you cannot just go from death to life. No. You cannot just go from death to life. You have to overcome death. Just the coming out of death. Because I don't know how I can best express this. I don't know. But there is nothing as strong as death on earth. There is no other thing that can defeat death. Once death has come for someone, it has come. And you see, death, the reason why death is powerful, hmm? I'll say it in this way, the reason why death is powerful is because it has a legal right over man. Because of the fallenness of man, once it touches anything fallen, that thing has to submit. Well, it has to. It has to. It has to. It has to. So there is no man who can stand in the face of death. That's why Jesus is peculiar. That's why Jesus is good. That's why Jesus is wonderful. Because it was only him who stood in the face of death went in death and came out victorious. He's the only one. Let me tell you, even the two resurrections that we see in the Old Testament, because we see, we see a shadow, right? We see a shadow. In the day of Elijah, God imparted life and caused that small boy to come back from, from the dead. It had never happened. Yeah. Then in the day of Elisha, another small boy, you know, was also brought back to life as a shadow. But those two boys died again. You understand? So they experienced resurrection as an event, not as a person. When you experience resurrection as an event, you lapse back because as long as you still in the fallenness, in this fallen nature, death will still come and knock. Say, you, are still, you still have a nature that I can overcome. So it was a temporal overcoming of death. When those, you know, 
two boys, one the widow's son and the other the Shunammite son. They were temporarily brought back from life. So, sorry, two life from death. Then also, Jesus as well raised the widow's son. He raised the daughter of Jairus. He raised Lazarus. Paul also raised the man. Peter also raised. But all those resurrections cannot be compared to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Because when he came out of death, he could not go back. He could not go back. When he stepped out, he stepped out with victory. He says, I have the keys. I have the keys of death. If I open a door for you and say, come out, you can't go back in. Uh, I have the keys of death. I am now in charge. Nzaba gulida. Nzaba galida. Atebuwe nku galida yo. Naya atebuwe nku jayo. Praise the Lord. Now, okay, as we wind up just for this service, the death that the Lord is addressing majorly or primarily is spiritual death. Because the physical death is there. Physical death is as a result of spiritual death. And by the way, this is the deception. Because death in itself is also deceptive. Yeah? This is how death is deceptive. Death does not come at once. It comes in phases. Before someone dies, the process of death kickstarts. And so, you may see someone alive, and they are jumping, and they are okay, they are smiling, yet... They are under the process of death. Death is already over them, just that they don't know. They are still smiling, they are still laughing, but it is certain they are just degenerating. So Jesus Christ came to deal first and foremost with spiritual death. Because if you answer that question, then the physical death is only just a matter of Time it's going to be dealt with. This is what happened to Adam. God told him, please give me the scripture. He told him that in the day you eat of this fruit. In dying, you shall die. And you will continue to die until you die. That is the actual rendering in Hebrew. If you are, you know, diligent enough to study your scriptures, you will see exactly what God said. What God told him is what we read. In that day, you shall surely die. In the day you eat thereof, you shall surely die. But go and read in Hebrew what that surely die means. The actual rendering of it. And we see it. When Adam ate. Eh? The moment Adam ate. He died. But he did not fall to the ground. The process of death started. He died spiritually. And now, the process of decay, because decay is a form of death. Rotting is a sign that there is death. And how did we know? How do you know that he, he started to die? When he realized, the Bible says his eyes was, were open, and then he saw, realized that he was naked. In the very presence of God. God told him, who told you you are naked? 
all those were signs to show that death had started. Death. What Christ came for. And why he did not raise 10,000 people from. He had the power to raise all the people in Israel who had died during his time of ministry. But he did not. He only raised three people. You understand? And of course his disciples raised others. Because he told them raise the dead. But that the physical resurrection is a message. Even today, the dead are being raised, but as a message. You understand? It is a message that death has been overcome. It's, it's, only, it's only a message. It's only a message to the world that don't fear death has been overcome. Ultimately, it is the spiritual death people need to overcome. That's what he says. Yeah. He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Hmm. We're going to continue in the next service. But just to show you, the Lord reveals himself as the resurrection in order to contend with death. And he does contend with death. Not in any way. You see, Jesus is the only man, hallelujah, that willingly went to die. He entered death by choice. All other people die when they, uh, they don't want to die. Ask everyone who dies. Okay, you won't find them. Okay, ask any living person who wants to die. Because God didn't create us to die. He has placed eternity in our hearts. People, people, you know someone say, sang a song, he says, I want to live forever. The longing of eternity is in every man, even sinners. You find anti-aging creams, uh huh. Hey, plastic surgery. And to tebagala kuda, eh? Tebagala kadiwa. The longing of eternity and of them continuing is in is was placed in us by God. But what people are doing is they are handling skinny. Ninga munda bafu. People fear to age. Ask them on their age right now. Ah, obalaba. Obalaba. People fear age. Why are you fearing age? Because it reminds them of the inevitable. It rings a bell. But unto us who have believed, unto us who have... Jesus willingly laid down his life. He is the only man whose life was not taken, but he gave it. He says, no man takes away my life. This commandment I received from my father. I have the power to lay down my life. And he says, I also have power to pick it up. <laughs> Oh my God. 
So you think they nailed him on the cross because they had power. No, it's because he had the power. He had power to go on that cross. Because I'm talking about a man who could not die. In the overnight, I tried to, you know, paint a little on this. That Jesus Christ, the man, could not die. Because he knew no sin. The wages of sin is death. But if a man has no sin, then he has no wages. He could not die. If he had decided to live longer, as a man, but he says, to this end was I born. This is why I was born. I have purpose. So I'm just not living... I just don't spend my days on earth. No, I, there is a reason why I came to on earth. I'm not, I, 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 I'm not going to spend on earth any longer that I need to. I'll just spend time on earth that I need to and to accomplish the purpose and the will of God, which he did. But for me, it is a marvel. It is it's a marvel. That for him, death was obedience. His death was his obedience. He allowed to die for, you, for, for your sake and mine. Adam died because of his disobedience. Christ died because of his obedience. That's why death could not keep him. Because he died because of obedience. Amen. Friends, I want us to close this service. We have one more service where we'll continue in these marvelous thoughts. Amen. Amen. I'm a man that you love me i'm amazed that you care and through your precious blood i found pardon and my sea we're all washed away. All my sins are washed away. Please stand on your feet. I'm a man. Sing to Lord. But you love me. I'm a man. But you can. Are you truly amazed? Because the way some of you are singing, I don't want to judge, but an amazed person. Are you amazed? Are you enthralled by what the Lord has done? All your sins. <laughs> We're going to sing this song one more time. Sing it to the Lord. Yeah. Sing it to the Lord. Lord, I'm amazed. I'm amazed that you love me. I'm amazed how you care for me. 
through your precious blood I found pardon. And all my sins, all oh, my sins, they're all washed away. All oh, my sins, one more time. Oh, I'm amazed. I am amazed. Lift up your hands and speak to the Lord. Lift up your hands to Him, to Him, to Him who is worthy, to Him who is honored, to who, Him who is blessed forevermore. The resurrection and the life. Because He lives, we can face tomorrow. Because He's alive, we are not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of tomorrow. I'm not afraid of the stock exchange. I'm not afraid of the economy. I'm not afraid of the news. I'm not afraid of what men are saying because he's, he lives. Through your precious blood. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Give him honor. Give him honor. Give him honor. Give him honor. Exalt him. Exalt the risen Lord. Exalt the ascended Lord. Exalt the glorified Lord. He that sits in the highest place. His name is above all other names. His name triumphs. Exalt him. He is exalted. Exalt the exalted one. And all my sins are washed. They're all washed away. All my sins are washed away. We play, praise you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We are the redeemed. We are your redeemed. We are your church that you have bought with your own precious blood. You have washed us, redeemed us to yourself. This morning we love you. This morning we praise you. This morning we exalt you and we thank you. Thank you for dying. Thank you for rising. Thank you for overcoming death. You have given us confidence to face today, tomorrow and all the other days. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together and bless him. Bless him. Give him praise. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to turn to someone. I want you to turn to someone and tell them. I have the resurrection and the life. I believe in the resurrection. I believe in the life. I am loved by the resurrection. I am loved by the life. Mm. 
Hallelujah. As we give, I want us to ask if there is any opportunity, anyone who does not have him. We don't want to presume that everyone here is born again, that you have accepted Jesus. So before we give, is there anyone who does not have Jesus, the resurrection and the life? Because it, you know, if you have him, there is joy. I mean, there is peace, there is certainty, there is. Huh? So if there is any, any fear, any dread in your heart, ask your neighbor, Dalamwali. Are you sure? You don't need anyone to tell you if he's there. Praise the Lord. Okay, all of us are born again. I want us to make a giving declaration. As we give today, we thank God for businesses and better businesses, connections and jobs and raises, benefit sales and favorable estates and interests and income. Money in our phones, purses, pockets, wallets, safes and gifts a debt free life expenses blessings great ideas thank you lord that i may have to be to give and to promote hallelujah 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 so come with a cheerful heart and give generously as the Lord has blessed you. Amen. We will close the service by our giving. So God bless you. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are leaving after this service, enjoy your Easter. As you reflect upon his resurrection, and his life. In Jesus' name.